Hi, my name is Mae Bobern and I'm a board certified behavior analyst with Brett Zinovian Associates. In this video, we'll be discussing advanced notice for transition related problem behavior. The BACB task list areas that will be covered are F3, identify and prioritize socially significant behavior change, H7, make database decisions about the effectiveness of interventions and the need for treatment revision. It's possible that although the practice of advance notice, like transition warnings, are common, they might not be effective. In a school setting, transition from one activity to another can be a major source of problem behavior for special education students as well as general education students. Advance notice is a common intervention used to promote problem-free transitions in an applied setting, but there is research that presents contrary evidence. Advanced notice, like transition warnings, refers to any procedure used to signal when the current activity will end and what the next activity will be. Advanced notice has been shown to reduce tantrum behavior during transition between activities across both school settings and community settings. Other research has been able to demonstrate a functional relationship between the use of advanced notice and the decrease of stereotypic behaviors. But on the contrary, advanced notice did not decrease self-injury in two individuals with profound intellectual disabilities or developmental disabilities, but other treatment procedures were effective at reducing transition-related problem behavior. In the Waters et al. article, advanced notice failed to decrease transition-related problem behavior, but extinction and differential reinforcement did. Of the studies reporting problem behavior when the advanced notice was provided as a treatment to transition-related problem behavior, the behavior was controlled by variables unrelated to unpredictable aspects of transition. Therefore, the important question to ask when deciding whether or not to use advanced notice as a treatment option, the authors provide a decision tree to determine the treatment most effective when addressing transition-related problem behavior, as well as questions to ask when moving through the decision tree. As a best practice approach, the authors recommend teaching and arranging the environment in a way that maximizes predictability and not to utilize advanced warning if engaging in problem behavior results in postponing the upcoming transition or returning to the pre-transition activity. Also, advanced notice may not be recommended for preferred to less preferred activity transitions. As a method to try to identify potential strategies, transition warnings, visual cues, visual schedules, I developed a questionnaire based on this line of research. It has really helped me to streamline the process to provide and analyze these strategies. The questionnaire includes questions to determine the role of unpredictably of problem behavior, the role of determination of a preferred activity or initiation of a non-preferred activity, and this information will be useful in determining the role of unpredictability on problem behavior and when and how to use transition warnings. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and to disseminate the science, share this video.